So everyone is, is the perfect recipe of madness, emotion, and chills. How do you keep it so intriguing and lively season to season without throwing off that balance? You know, I, I found that the initial uh, balance of those things, the, the reason I wanted to do the show um, from, from the pilot that came to me, even in its earliest form, when the pilot wasn't quite what you ended up seeing, it still had these characteristics. I was like, wow, this is, there's an opportunity to get the humor and the suspense and the poignancy and have that be a part of it throughout. And um, so a lot of ideas just came to me of like, hey, let's have an episode where she's left alone. Let's have a mommy and me episode. And all the stages of, of a family are an abomination in this family, that everything that's a ritual of growing up with a baby is, is twisted and wrong because we don't, the babies died a long time ago. So it's, it's this pretending that life can go on, which is this thing you're feeling. And um, it's just a special thing about the premise of the show. And do you have a favorite moment or scene uh, from across the three seasons, either, you know, it could be on camera or off camera. Wow. A, 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 look, there's so many amazing moments. What I've been, excited about is uh like if you watch all of season three there every director has their certain lean and their imprint and i'm i'm dazzled by how they do it there's a you'll see and uh, i'm just randomly thinking of things there's a dazzling dinner table scene in episode six where someone comes to visit and it's absolutely riveting and chilling and funny and that director kitty kitty green she did an amazing job and then um, Franz and Fiala, who did episode nine, it's so cinematic and this long camera move that they end the episode on. It's so like operatic and, and, and amazing. And each director brings their own little touch that I could never have done. So um, I, I love it. Even the, the fair scene that Celine and Logan did for episode five. Um, I, it, you know, I like, for example, episode five of the season, I would say I said, you know, um, I would say this old movie, uh, Ministry of Fear, was very in instrumental in when I was thinking about stuff like having a fair and having something weird and wrong happening at a fair. And we would come up with this episode and they executed it so well. So I, I have many. I could have, I mean, you could go through each episode, all 30 that have been made, and I could give you one moment from each. So when you, once you have an idea, what, what's your process like developing that? Do you have like any kind of traditions or are you pen and paper or mm -hmm. how does that work for you? Well, and servant, so I'll say, I'll go, okay, um, I want to do a, a mommy and me episode. So a, uh, you know, I find the rituals of, you know, babies in the lap and the moms all singing and somebody playing a little, little instrument and everybody singing together. This bizarre ritual that we do as like first time parents or beginning our lives with our babies. And I remember, you know, visiting mommy and me circles and my wife sitting there and I, these things. So I would tell the writers, hey, this is a great atmosphere for something really horrific to happen in this fun. It's funny and the ritual and then each of the personalities and some like a gossipy mom or like a very, you know, uh, one that doesn't have boundaries. And then you put Leanne in the middle of that and how she's uncomfortable, but wants to be a part of it. It just, it's a premise that we, that excites the writers and, and excites me. And I'll, I'll pitch a kind of a structure. Hey, how about we do this? And then there's a mysterious thing that happens or she mistakenly thinks this happens at this moment. And then boom, this big event happens at the end. Well, I have to wrap up. Uh, I just want to say, I, I did get to speak to you the night you announced this at New York Comic Con. Uh, um, you were on stage, asked, got to ask a question, and I've been following it ever since. I'm loving it. I think we're about halfway through. This is you're looking at a 60 episodes, right? So well, we're gonna uh, do four. We're gonna do 40. Originally, I was thinking 60, um, but then when I laid it all out, uh, it was 40. And then the level of involvement that I'm in, um, I feel like I can do this one more year, like super, super intensely involved. Well, I'm I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to see how this this all pan or turns out. It's a fantastic work. So thank you so thank much. You, Thank you so Have much. Have a great day.